In this video I'm going to talk about holding tanks. Uh, there's a lot of discussion and opinions uh, on the internet of course about whether to leave that great water tank closed when you're on a full hookup uh, in an RV park. I prefer to leave mine closed unless we're using the washer dryer or taking showers. The reason for that is uh, solids can get in there from when you're doing dishes uh, in the gray water tank and you want to have that rush to help clean those solids out so when you pull that valve open that gray water rushes out and it tends to uh, pull out all those solids that would otherwise stay in there and ferment and cause an odor problem. The other advantage of that is when it comes time to dump the black water tank you dump the black water tank first of course with this valve closed then when you go ahead and open up you've got that extra few gallons of water running down through there to help flush out the uh, sewage from the hose uh, and the uh, valve area right in here. Now one note in the other video where I talked about how to open the black water tank I talked about how I hold this under here first when I open the valve. There's a reason for that. It was about 100 degrees and I was in Florida and it was time to hook up this uh, sewer to dump the black water tank and apparently I had not got the black water tank dump valve closed all the way and this section of the hose from here a few feet up to the black water tank was full of sewage. So when I popped that cap off, uh, here it come. Uh, and you know, trying to put the cap back on, that was a huge mistake. You know, just like putting your finger over a, a, a garden hose, that stuff sprayed everywhere. It was all over me. Um, I was in shorts and uh, flip-flops. It went all over the campground. It smelled awful. A big crowd gathered around. <laughs> Not a good day. So to prevent that, what you want to do is have your hand up here on the top, get your fitting ready to go, and just crack it loose just a little bit. And if it starts to drain out, don't take the cap off, just hold it in there and let it drain on in. Once it's drained clear, then you can go ahead and put your fitting on. Now I have what I call my sewer kit. I have a lot of other things, but I would say this is the absolute minimum, is to have uh, your 90 degree clear water, uh, clear plastic fitting here so that you can, uh, when you black water flush, you can see when it runs clear, you know you're, you're finished flushing. Uh, and don't forget, use a separate hose. Don't use the same hose you use for drinking water because you don't want to cross-contaminate. Then your 90-degree uh, fitting that goes into the park sewer receptacle. Some parks, I know particularly in Florida, they require you to have this uh, rubber seal on there to prevent venting sewer gases into the atmosphere. And the other item I like to have is this uh, uh, weight, uh, double weight here. It goes on over the fitting. Uh, there's a tendency for this to come out if you've got a big rush of sewer coming down and that's just a mess you just don't want to have to deal with. So include these in your sewer kit. I put them in a plastic container with a lid on the top. Keeps the odors down in the basement and keeps everything nice and sanitary. Don't let that happen to you. So the way to deal with that is when you pull this cap off, get it loose. As you can see there's a little bit of residual in there. Be ready to catch it, and it won't go all over you. Of course, it's not supposed to go all over the ground. <laughs> Cut. <laughs> 